there's new video of a barrage of bullets unleashed inside a bar. You can hear several gunshots, and then you'll see people on the sidewalk starting to sprint. One person died, and three more were hurt in that shooting near downtown Minneapolis. But that was just one part of a violent night. A trio of shootings across the city in just five hours. Nine people were hit. Two lost their lives. One of them was just 16 years old. WCCO's Adam Duxter spoke exclusively with the city's recently appointed community safety commissioner tonight. And Adam joins us with that. Hi, Adam. Yeah, Amelia, yesterday marked exactly one month on the job for newly appointed community safety commissioner Cedric Alexander. And it also just happened to be most likely the most violent day since he's been here. And today he says making a difference takes everyone. do something better. You see the violence that's taking place in and around your business. Take an effort to do something. Community Safety Commissioner Cedric Alexander isn't holding back. We have some serious issues in our community, particularly with young people and violence. It started just after 8 p.m. Thursday when a 16 year old was shot and killed on the north side. Less than an hour later and just over a mile away, Trulisa McCray's son was one of four people shot outside Winter Gas. All this gun violence that's going on, y'all have to stop. It has to stop. That's all I'm asking. This security footage shows the third shooting of the night at Bullwinkles on Washington Ave, where another four people were shot and a man in his 30s died. Commissioner Alexander says the businesses where these shootings are happening need to do better. Everyone has a responsibility as business owners to do more and to do better. Yes, they have legal rights in which they stand on, but also the citizens who come in and out of their businesses have a right to be safe. We need to take a stand. It is time to take back our communities once and for all. And as activists demand action from north side businesses. We can make this thing work. Commissioner Alexander says he's in support of a call to do more. The community is tired of it. And what you see right now is a community that's standing up and say enough of this already. Tomorrow, more than a dozen streets or dozen blocks on the north side will be blocked off from Broadway in Lindale to Broadway in Penn for an open streets event. Something that's going to bring music, fun, entertainment, and food to that area. And organizers say that their main goal is not only to break the stigma of the north side, but also to give the people who live there something to enjoy, especially after a difficult week. Yeah. All right, Adam, thank you.